Hi everyone, let's solve the very first question from today's bi-weekly contest that is separate the digits in an array. We are given an uh, array of positive integer nums and we have to return an array answer that consists of the digits of each integer and nums after separating them in the same order they appear in nums and to separate the digits of an integer is to get all the digits it has in the same order for example if we have the integer 10921 then the separation of its digits is 10921 so let's understand what the question given means so first of all let's understand what the what the division of um, these integers we are saying right so as we saw we had 10921 so the separation of its digits will be 10921 one so all we have to do is we have to take the digits that are that are appearing inside of a particular integer that is given to us right so they are 10921 and they should be in the order that they are appearing inside of this number right so first one comes so one should be first in the array then zero comes then zero should be and similarly up to this one now what we have to do is we have we are given an array of some integers and we have to do the same thing and for all these integers we have to put it inside of another vector or an array right so what will be having here let's say a uh, resultant array as is ans so we will be having 1 3 right so we will separate uh, the digits of this integer and we will keep it inside of answer then we will separate the digits of this integer so we will have 2 and 5 then we will separate the digits of 83 then we will get 8 and 3 and then for 77 we will get 7 and 7 right so this is the resultant vector that we should get now let's see how we will solve it right so what we will simply do is first of all we will be iterating for each and every uh, number that is present inside of the array right so we will have we will have a for loop that um, that will be used to iterate inside of this array now what we will do first of all we will also have that this answer vector here right so inside of this for loop for each and every L, um integer that is inside of this array we will be creating another vector okay we will be creating another vector let's call it temp okay let's call it temp right and then what we'll be doing is we will be having a while loop right and inside of this while loop what we'll be doing right if we have some number like 107 so this is 10 to the power 1 so how will we get 7 10 to the power 0 This is ten raised to the power one. This is ten raised to the power two. So how can we write this number? We can write it simply like this, right? So two into ten raised, sorry, zero into ten raised to the power two plus um seven into this is ten raised to the power one. Seven into ten raised to the power zero. This is how we will get this number. So inside of this while loop, until a particular uh the integer that we have, right? Let's say it's a of i, right? A of array. Like array of i is not zero. Uh, until that point, we'll be iterating inside of this while loop, and we'll be taking the remainder, right? Remainder by ten. So if we take the remainder by ten, we will temp dot push back. We will push it inside of our vector, and what we'll be pushing? We will be pushing this number a of i modulo ten, right? That's how we will be getting our numbers, and then we will be dividing this a of i by ten, right? uh this will be the value of a, a of i this will be a of i right and we will be keep doing this now one thing to notice is in this temp vector the order of the number will be just the reverse right because we will be getting the number from this place then this place then this place this is how we will be getting the number so for 107 if we put it inside of this while loop we will be getting 7 0 inside of this temp vector so for each and every iteration we have to also reverse this vector to get the same ordering as 1 0 7 so that is why we have taken this temp vector and we are not um, uh, appending everything inside of this ans right so that is why this temp vector we have taken and we will reverse it after each while loop and then we will append all the characters present inside of this temp vector um inside of our answer vector right so let's see the code so here as i said we have our vector ans then we have then we have uh, the vector v right here right we are first iterating inside of this vector nums that is given to us that is the array of integers and then for each and every integer we are creating this vector v 
and we are creating this while loop so until that particular integer inside of um, this nums uh, array is it is not zero we will be pushing um, these values inside of this temporary vector that we have created then we will reverse this vector and we will uh, take all the values inside of this vector and we will append it inside of this answer vector and that is what we have simply returned so that is how we have to solve this question